How's it going everyone? I'm Andrew with Speed Tech Lights and today we're going to be going over our K-Force 55 Linear. When you get your unit out of the box, you'll have your light bar going to your connection cables. Then you'll notice a connector here, and that's to be used with our optional Supreme Control. And then you'll have your main power cables, and then you have your aux cable here to hook up to 10 amps of additional lighting that you can control off of your Supreme Control box. Now when it comes to your Supreme Control, we have our standard version and our handheld version. Now today I am going to be using our standard version, and then I'll hop back and show you some of the features of our handheld. So when you go to hook up your light bar using our Supreme Control box, you'll simply plug your connector into your Supreme Control. And then I went ahead and ran my main power cables, so my red cable to my positive connection and my black cable to my negative connection. And then you'll see that I brought a standard amber unit with me and all of our full size light bars come standard with two white takedowns, two white alleys and an amber traffic advisor. And we offer these light bars in amber, red, blue, green, and clear, and solid half-half and alternating color setups. And we even have our customized light bar tool where you can lay out exactly what colors you want in your light bar as well. So you'll notice that you have a slide switch here on your Supreme Control box. So the first position will activate the back of your light bar. The second position will activate the front of your light bar. And the third position will activate your light bar in 360 mode. So you can easily access those three modes off of your slide switch here. And then you have your pattern button, so you can cycle through your different flash patterns. You can get programmed on a pattern you'd like. And then this light bar does have memory recall, so you can shut your light bar off and back on and remember the last pattern it was on. And you can also program different flash patterns for your different modes. So you can switch back to your back mode and program a flash pattern. You can switch to your front mode and program a flash pattern. And this light bar will remember up to three different flash patterns. And then you also have a couple flash pattern shortcuts here. So if you hold your pattern button down for three seconds, your light bar will go to steady burn mode. And if you hold your pattern button down for five seconds, your light bar will activate its random flash pattern mode. So you can easily access those two modes off of your flash pattern switch. Now let's go over your takedown, alley, and cruise function. So you have your takedown, alley, and cruise function here. Now when these buttons are activated, you'll see those functions will go steady burn. And these do operate independently of your light bar, whether it is flashing or not. And then when these buttons are deactivated, you'll see those modules will go back to flashing with your light bar. Now for your takedowns and alleys, we do offer a multicolor upgrade here to where when these modules are flashing, they will flash the warning of your light bar color ordered. And then when you activate these functions, they will still go steady burn white. Now let's go over your traffic advisor and aux function. Now I went ahead and turned my light bar around here for you to show you the traffic advising feature. Now our traffic advisor does come in standard amber, but we offer a multicolor upgrade here to where when these modules are flashing, they will flash in the warning color of your light bar ordered or when you activate your traffic advisor, they will go amber. And then you'll see on your Supreme Control that you have center out, you have right left and left right functions here that you can easily access on your Supreme Control. And then finally, you have your aux button here where you can hook up to 10 amps of additional lighting all off of your Supreme Control. So you'll see the main difference with our handheld Supreme is it's more compact handheld design. And then you'll see the slide switch is replaced with three buttons here. So you have your back mode, you have your front mode, and your 360 mode and you have your pattern changer, you have your takedown, your alleys, your traffic advising features, you have your cruise mode, and then your aux button here to hook up to 10 amps of additional lighting. Now you'll notice on the housing of your light bar that the top cover fully encapsulates the base of the light bar for a really solid seal. And then you'll notice underneath your light bar that you have extra drainage holes for even more moisture protection. And then you'll see with your included light bar feet here that these are adjustable along the slide track if you need to adjust for your vehicle. And then we have our universal gutter mount brackets available as well as vehicle specific gutter mount brackets. And then we have our permanent mount stud brackets as an option. And these will use the existing hardware from your light bar feet to attach to your light bar like so and this light bar will use four permanent mount stud brackets and then we also have our headache rack bracket which you can mount your light bar to and sandwich on your headache rack like so so that covers all of the features of our k-force 55 linear make sure to check out our interactive player right below the product pictures and also our flash pattern video to see all of the flash patterns that are included with this unit if you have any questions give us a call or shoot us an email we'll talk to you soon thanks